Fables of La Fontaine, The Rat Who Retired from the World. There is a legend of the Levantine that once a certain rat, weary of strife, retired into a Dutch cheese, calm, serene, far from the bustle and the cares of life. In solitude extreme, dim stretching far and wide, the hermit dwelt in all tranquility, and worked so well with feet and teeth inside, shelter and food were his uncertainty. What need of more? Soon he grew fat with pride. God showers his blessings upon those who pay their vows to him in faith. There came one day a pious deputy from Ratdom sent to beg some trifling alms, because their town, Ratopolis, was leaguered with intent most deadly. They, without a crown, had been obliged to fly, so indignant was the assailed republic. Little ask the sacred ambassadors, the succor sure. In a few days, the loan was no hard task. My friend, the hermit cried, I can endure no more the things of this world. What have I, a poor recluse, to give you but a prayer? I yield you patiently unto his care. And then he shut the door quite tranquilly. Who do I mean, then, by this selfish rat, a monk? No, sir, a dervish is more fat. A monk, where'er in this world he may be, is always full, you know, of charity. Well, there you have it. So, what's this all about? The rat finds himself a cheese, says, this is all I need. I've got food and shelter. I can happily live out the rest of my days without stress, without problems. I've taken care of my future. I'm just going to chill in this cheese. And then, of course, knock, knock, knock. Some beggars come by. Oh, help us, our town, blah, blah, blah. Give us some charity. And he's like, sorry, I, uh, I've cut myself off from the world. I'm just going to chill here. God bless you. I'll pray for you, but that's basically all I can do. Now, it seems to me that this recluse rat is being painted as the bad guy because, you know, he's not a monk who, you know, will help with charity all the time. But I don't view this rat as a bad guy. This rat is similar to the grasshopper in the old Ant and the Grasshopper fable, in that the rat has taken care of his future and wants to remain that way. Were he to donate to charity, that would potentially jeopardize his own future. I'm sure it could be argued that he has more than enough, but who knows? And if he starts giving away his cheese, then he might be old with nothing. Whereas now, you know, he's the guy who decided to, you know, live off his investment, basically. I think it's prudent to save for your future, prepare for your future, take care of your future. And once you have taken care of your own future and any possible problems that may arise, once 
you are secure, sure, if you have enough over and above your own needs, you can start concerning yourself with others. But I believe your main objective is to take care of your future, your own security first. Because of this, I don't see this rat as a bad guy. It's easy to ask for help and expect help, but basically we have to secure our own future. Do you have any other comments, anything you'd like to add down below, please? Nothing worse than being old and needy. When you're young, you can possibly recover. You have chances as you get older, these chances dry up. My thoughts, I welcome different opinions, of course. Till next time. Bye.